Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Seasters and Mermaid. Uh, Merman, I am so excited to do this live today. Today, we are doing a training on hostess parties. This is the number one requested uh, training that I get on YouTube that I keep saying, I need to do this. I need to do this. Um, I try to put it off and it just, it never really happens. And honestly, um, I think part of that is because I don't have the best stories or experiences or even, um, the perfect advice to share. I have done some, um, hostess parties that were not successful. It took a while to get to the point where I did do some that were successful. And I would love to share those um, strategies and tips and things that I've done. But today we are going to have Stacy Poe. Um, I organized about a dozen questions I'm going to be asking her on hostess parties. And she is going to share her um, tips, experiences, and the process that she does them because she has nailed them. I am so proud of her. We're going to um, give it a minute for her to get back on. We did a little test run a few minutes ago, and once I see her name pop up, I will invite her onto this live. Um, a few months ago, I did do a little quick training on how um, I believe hostess parties, while it's a um, a traditional method of growing any type of in-home um, business. It's just because it's maybe a little more old school. doesn't mean it's the most, not the most important one that we should still be doing now. Okay. I see Stacy is on. So I'm going to, how did I do this last time? Okay. I only see the option that Janet Lynn is watching and to add her on. I wonder if it's just the first person let me see. Okay. Add. Okay. I'm adding. It says adding at the top. Connected. Yay! Oh, Hi, everybody. Two for two. We are so um, lucky that it worked both times. I know. <laughs> this is amazing. Hi, guys. I was getting a little nervous at first. So um, let me uh, officially introduce. This is Stacey Popod. I don't think she's ever done a live nice. in the pod yet. Although no, she's very active, so many of you may already know who she is. I feel like she's definitely a rising um, rock star in this business. So, Stacy, why don't you do just, we don't have it listed on here as the, um, the questions to go over, but why don't you just do a quick introduction of yourself, how long you've been in paparazzi, and maybe just a little bit of what you did before you joined paparazzi, and if you want to implement how that um, impacted your maybe passion or motivation for this business. Hello, everybody. I am Stacy Poe, and I am a newbie, actually. I'm still under my year belt. I started paparazzi 11-11-2020. Um, so, hi, Janice. Hello, Janice. Um, that's a, one of my girls on my team. Um, hi, Janice. Yeah. <laughs> I told all my little girls all my diamonds. So, I am um, currently, I am a stay-at-home mother of three little boys, and that is my why, okay? So, I am also a fitness instructor, and that's what I've done forever. I have a graduate um, bachelor in fine arts from CCM, so that is my love of changing people's lives, is something that um, health and fitness have always been something I love, and I go hard with it. So I ended up um, with my upline. I love jewelry and I love fashion and I love affordable. I am a boy mom and I do not have time. I don't even wear my wedding ring because <laughs> I'm always doing something with them. So with that, I um, hosted a party and I earned so many amazing free pieces. I could not believe it. And I'm like, this is what okay so then i was like buying more pieces <laughs> on top of what i got for free and then she's like yeah now uh you could you could be on my team and get this stuff for like you know i'm like i'm sorry what so that's just kind of how it happened so i've only been doing this um actively since um december when a few of my friends once i signed up you know i then they're like oh can you get this because you get a free website Next right. thing I know, I am doing this 10 and 12 hours a day. I gave up some of my fitness classes and now I'm a full-time paparazzi consultant and I like I live it. for it. It is yes. amazing. It has changed my life financially and it's just, 
If you're on the edge, should I buy those shirts for my kids at that park? It's $35 and I got three of them, okay? So that's like $100. Eh, I'll just host a party. I'll sell my in get rich shirts for my boys. So that's kind of a little background. I went from fitness, all these classes to hosting one speed sale. And I like tripled my sale for my classes. And I'm virtually, everything I do is virtually. I have fitness virtually, all my classes. Right. So changing lives. So you joined in the time. middle of this um, pandemic and you joined because of a hostess party. Yes. Like how perfect is that? I know, you, that I is? know. <laughs> yes, so I That's pride what pulled you on into this business because I know what it felt so, like to be one. Yes, so you, um, you know, we're a hostess, you earn this free jewelry. Have you done any hostess parties for other businesses or companies before? Yes. So and what made you not want to draw, you know, draw into and join that company? What drew you to paparazzi? Well, I, since I do a lot of fitness, I have a lot of friends that do their side business. So what I call it is I like to give back. So right, one of the right. six Sorry about my crying eyes. <laughs> uh, one of my six steps of success, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. So one oh. of his, there's six rules to success. So if you have not watched okay. it. Ooh, take notes, viewers. Take six notes, notes to success. You need to go look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's six steps to success. And number six is always give back. Yes. So I felt that my friends, they take my classes, but maybe they need their side money too. The nails, the color street, I don't wear them, but I'll help you. Tupperware, right. I did another fitness clothes. You know, I help all my friends because eventually they're going to help me. It, yeah, it's, it it's a revolving, you know, scratch your back, I'll scratch you, you know, mine and yeah. yours. So when I did the, I, I don't know, it, it's probably also, um, it's affordable. Yeah, it's $5. Like, don't you love being able to give day. it's five dollars friends and family something that they can afford to buy like that was a huge oh, yeah. um plus for me as well and from early early on i had the same vision as you that if you give back that's what blesses your business the most yeah, for sure and so hostess parties that's kind of the definition of it if this person is willing to introduce your product to their friends and family, you're going to bless them oh, with yeah. free jewelry. Oh, yeah. So um, I put on a new eyeshadow today, and I think I'm allergic to it. My, uh, I keep crying. I can I'm like, am I making you I'm cry? So I'm so excited. No. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, you know, so honored to have you here that it makes tears uh, come. But I think it's my new um, uh, <laughs> makeup product. But anyway, let's dig into these questions because okay. I know that we have a lot of viewers who are like, I've done a hostess party. I've done two, I've done three, and they were flops. The hostess wasn't you know, active, none of her customers bought. I've been there. My very first um, hostess party was exactly that. I gave the hostess free jewelry just for hosting. I gave her free jewelry for participating in a game because she was the only one who participated. And at the end of the day, after shipping and handling, it cost me $20 to do this and I got zero leads, zero contacts. And I basically gave up on the idea of hostess parties. And then I saw our fabulous um, Crystal Kampula upline yes. post this analogy that hostess parties are like a car. And if you have one bad party, that's like one flat tire. Would you go and slash your other three tires just because that one tire went flat? No, that's crazy. You repair it. Um, and then you can get to your destination. And so I um, actually went under some of Brandy Baker's um steps to do a hostess party i like i followed them you know almost like a math formula like if one plus one plus one i'm gonna get to 10 if i do all these one plus ones and it was my first successful party i even had a new customer join my team because of that party just like you so there is a method to the madness right like oh, there's yes. a, a right way and a wrong way to do it there's a right attitude and a wrong attitude to view hostess parties and today i think if we go over these questions um our viewers will not only um understand how to do a hostess party but appreciate the value of them because it can totally um take your business to a whole new level and you would agree absolutely. with that absolutely right? absolutely okay so let's just start with that number one would you say hostess parties are instrumental in your business can you have a successful business and never do a hostess party like what's your thoughts on that i mean you could have a successful business 
if you wanted to maybe stay a flat line. I mean, that, yeah. maybe that's your success mountain. Maybe you just want to plateau. Yeah. That's true. Your, success is different for everyone. You're your jewelry just because it's what you, and if uh, you, you know, that's not what you're in for. You, okay, free website, that's fine. But right. I am, I definitely am a go-getter and I have to do a challenge and I don't really do anything that I'm not ready to go. So mm -hmm. I joined paparazzi because I wanted to, I wanted to see what I could do with this. Yeah, I see, I, I got the email and I looked up paparazzi and I see these bling figures, six figures, and I'm yeah, getting five dollars jewelry. Oh, I can totally do this. You know, <laughs> and sales has always been my life. I was a personal yeah. banker for 10 years and I know sales. I know the, but the foundation is building, like planting the seeds, to grow and build that, you know, business, that customer team. base. Yeah. And it's, you know, so I said, you know what? I literally gave myself a goal when I first started. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like, so I said, I started 11, 11, 12 in December. I was kind of ordering, you know, this every now and then I had no idea what three o'clock releases were. That's on it. <laughs> No idea what this was. If you knew <laughs> releases here, I wasn't either. You're just first. learning. It took two you months. Know what to go, you know. So January one, I made myself, and that is very, very instrumental in the business to set goals. So yeah. first of all, I said I wanted to be the hostess with the mostest to Ooh, everyone. I that. that I mean, I wanted to be the one that everybody was like, "How are you having the? How are you doing this?" Because I'm hosting and giving back. So yeah. I made a goal. I wanted every weekend to have a hostess party. And you want to bet? I am seven months into it. I only did not post last month, but every single weekend I have done a hostess party all virtually. And so recently, yeah. two months ago, I did my new sip and sees. So yeah, in home one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I said, I'm going to do it every single weekend. So I do a weekend bash. So I feel like it has helped me grow. I went from 23 people to now like 210 people because and because of hostess party yes. you would give a lot of yes. that credit absolutely that. absolutely absolutely now um can you share the process of what your hostess parties look like um we can go into the ones in person because those i think more people are comfortable yep. with they get a friend that you know host in their home we invite real people that concept is more um traditional or relatable but an online party how do we do this? What are the um, steps that you do when you do a hostess party online? So everybody kind of has their own way and their time commitment to a hostess party. I right. personally decided for my team and, you know, the compound um, that I want to do it called a weekend bash. So basically it's like four days dedicated to that group, that hostess. Now, some mm -hmm. people you might do one day or I know Crystal, she loves to do like an hour or two and then you post all you know your pictures and then that's for the hostess i am more of an engaging person and i believe yeah, i have i have to get to know all my customers i did a hostess party everybody. that was seven days long one time i'm like every I day know, of the week I we're just, doing a live i love people i love to get to know people i know i want to know what their style is what they want what they their sisters brothers mother i, I want to know it all <laughs> <laughs> so I, how I do my virtual is I create a, an event, private yes. event under my name. Cause I can't do the business because it will then show up on my wall. And I want this right, to, to everybody. Event. So you make a uh, event on your personal profile. Right. And then from there, right. Personal continue. profile, I set an event. This is one week prior to the event you know, whatever. I might also, I have a little um, picture that I kind of made like save the date kind of thing. And you can do it that way and text your hostess because you probably have her right. phone number. You should, and then she can text all the people to remind them. So I always send a reminder that week. Okay. The week prior, then I create a private party, a private party under my name as the, you know, you're going to go in and create a private party. She is mm -hmm. also an admin. So I add the hostess, okay, at as an admin. mm -hmm. administrative ability. So when you create your private group, this would be on a Wednesday. 
I create that Wednesday night because I do all my wall drops and Wednesday, wear it Wednesday, yeah. everything on Wednesday. So Wednesday night, I create this group for me business wise. Then on Thursday morning, I will invite her to the group. Then she will, once she accepts, I allow her to invite all of her friends, everybody. I said, the more, the merrier. If yeah. you think they won't join your group, invite them anyway, because they anyway, have a choice yeah. to accept yes. or decline. So right. mm, mm, I don't care who it is, invite them all. just invite them. They have the option to say no. So make yes. sure you tell your hostess this and your host or hostess or whoever's hosting your party. Then on that day, I call it housekeeping. So Thursday, as they're joining, okay, I might just say, hey guys, I give the welcome. I have scheduled posts. So that morning, I've already, because it's a private party. It's a right. private group that you can schedule your posts, guys. It is a no brainer. It's so easy. Yeah. So you schedule your posts welcome i'll do a gif i'll do a you know then maybe i throw out a game the scrabble yes. paparazzi so anybody who all weekend long this game's gonna be going for a free piece they yeah. want the maybe i'll pick two winners i don't know as many people keep going like a, a certain game so then at the end of the night on thursday i will then post something on my hostess and say everyone who joins by tonight at midnight will get entered into a drawing. Nice. For another free piece, right? Right. So then, mm, why not? So yeah. Then they're just gonna join because it's a free piece, right? Of mm -hmm. course, when they see free, it's for me, okay? Yeah. So then on, I always tell them the night can't wait till Friday. Our bash is gonna be Friday to Monday. We have four days to spoil your friend or, mm -hmm. and I always tag them in, you know, whatever post so that that hostess has to go back and like it, maybe makes a comment. It's a little helpful right. reminder. Yes, tag her friends. Yes. So then Friday morning, I will start my post, my wall drops, good morning. I always give a happy Friday. It's fantastic Friday. The party's about to start. Who's excited? Give me a wow or whatever post below to get people engaged. So they right. know that's, you know, that's what's going to keep it going. So then Friday I'll post, I might do a mini album, which is like 10 pieces, okay. maybe at lunchtime. I'm not a big album person. I yeah. post individual posts because I want them to keep getting notifications. Yes. I don't want them fingering through and uh, I want yeah. them to read about it, to know about it, other people to like it, whatever. Saturday, it goes into Saturday. I do Sassy Saturday, which is wall drops in my VIP group. So Sassy Saturday is huge. They know it's the hottest of the hot. The bling is coming out. Life of the party. Look at these guys. I mean, are you serious? Yes. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, so Saturday is sassy. I do it all sat post, post, maybe a little mini album teaser. Maybe it's brass pieces. Right. Something you can do a metal or a little urban album, all my urban pieces that I have, or yeah. a snap album, something like that. Or maybe a shimmer, your little girl's VIP. Yes. Junior, I call them junior gems. So my junior gems, I might post a little album for that Saturday, okay? Right. Then Sunday, that is a big deal in my business is self-care Sunday. So mm. typically I do not work at all. Even in my hostess parties, I make a big deal about it. But okay. then I surprise them at like two or three o'clock and say, all right, spoil yourself with a self-care, you know, <laughs> self-care piece or one of my right. sets. So it might be some extra fashion fix sets I have. So I'll say self-care sets available $20. So then yes. that's how I push my fashion fix sets maybe. Then Monday. Monday, I don't do any posts in my VIP group. So it's only a little bit here and there because I have my huge Monday madness is my live on Monday night. That ends the party. So Monday madness, they, have, they can claim, they can do whatever. And then I also share it into the group. So I'm helping the hostess share the party. So I tell everybody hit the share button. I share it into the group, right? So then Monday so night- just to clarify, this Monday Madness Live, this is 
not just in the private event. This is on your This is my main business page. that I do so, every Monday night is huge. So that's how you get all of your potential new customers, um, those just watching, curious, maybe they're interested in maybe shopping, to find your business page, start following it, and get on your main live Yes, channel. so I'm, I'm holding a little, so I have a squirrel over here for you for this party. So then Monday Madness happens, and then I invoice Tuesday, I in, uh, and I ship on Wednesday. So that's kind of like the four-day bash. But the biggest thing for my hostess parties for virtually, non-stop, all the time, I'm sharing my VIP group link in mm. the private party. Yes. I yes. am si I'm sharing the Po compound. I highlight it every time I talk about just, and I go, just click it. And I use a little finger, little emojis. Yeah. yeah. Click, 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 click. Oh, calm down. <laughs> I mean, all the time. Yeah. Every time I highlight. Another thing is that when I do my virtual parties, it is all old inventory. Yes. So yes. what that means to me, old inventory, is that everything that's been on my wall, it's mm -hmm. new to your hostess party. Yes. They've never seen it. This right. copper necklace I've had for weeks and I cannot push it in my VIP because they've seen it 16 times. Well, they're going to see right. it 17 if it doesn't sell, okay? Right, right. But those are the pieces. So you encourage yes. your hostess. If you're already in a VIP shopping group, don't invite them because they've already seen this. Yeah, so yeah. then what I say in my group the whole weekend Ladies, you're seeing some pieces, but my VIPs got different. Join right. now. And I say, you can, if it doesn't matter where you claim, my website, my wall, or this group, your hostess gets credit. Next thing I know, yes. so-and-so is jumping over to accept. So-and-so, and, -so, and I probably so get three to six people automatically join because they want to know, okay, right. what's going on in this one? The hottest of the yes. hot or in my VIP. So right. that's how I get jump overs. And so let's pause right there because that's two really important bullet Cute. points that are, I think, kind of the main focus of a hostess party that a lot of people don't really realize. Number one, it's not about having the highest sales ever or getting one customer to buy 25 pieces. Even if they just buy one, the main purpose of a hostess party is to bring them into your main shopping group having them follow and like your main business page so that you get that repeat customer business. That's the end goal. You don't just want a one-time sale from a hostess that you never get you know, business from again. Um, you want her sharing and maybe hosting a party in the future as well. So you, that's so awesome yes. that you're constantly, I love the finger emojis. They and are, and I'm like, click here, page. click here, see the new, see the yes. new. Oh my gosh, you should see this new green ring that just posted. Hit the VIP, go check it out. It'll count yes. if you get it. And I just and hype then up. The second point that I love that I think some people maybe make the mistake is they have a hostess party and they want to show their newest bling that they just got in the mail. Save that for your VIP customers who want to see that new inventory yeah. and use hostess parties. I love that you do it this way that every weekend, anything that didn't sell in the last few weeks, you're gonna be promoting and pushing in that group. That's so I feel so like I'm awesome. always posting, everything's always new to me. There's yes. never anything old because I have a new person and new people. And that's how like, and some people, even like when you're live, they get frustrated about, well, I've been showing this piece and maybe a couple of your people, I've already seen this, it's got anything new? Well, let me right. tell you, everybody shares mine and I might have 17 shares, okay? There is somebody new on my wall. That piece is new. Yes. It is yes. never old. Love all right. your pieces like there's no tomorrow. I yes. love everything. Like yes. I just love all right. All so that pieces. kind of leads us into number three. How do you get new hostesses? Um, like what do you do during a hostess party um, to either get a new hostess for the next month or, you know, we talked about how to get those hostesses to become repeat customers. You get right. them to follow your page and join a group, but how do you find that next new hostess? What does that look like for you? Okay, so I typically, I will always post, <clears throat> every, excuse me, every now and then, I will post like, this is how you earn, you know, if any hostess wanted, just a little random in between my drops, okay, little pictures that are 
already made for us. It's really great. So you just have to yeah. copy paste. Okay. It's not like you have to create anything. They give us everything for us. Then once someone purchases something, I then say something in the group. Thank you so much, Heidi, for per because then I'm calling out that person in that group and everybody else's name is not. So guess you're not that friend that's supporting your friend. It's only $5. Okay. So exactly. buy a piece or two, you know, yes. so then I'm like, thank you so much. You're awesome. Can't, hopefully I can spoil you. I'll always say something like that to follow up my comments. Then I personally, personally PM because you're going to need their email. You're going to need their, you know, their PayPal information or whatever, however you do your form of collection. Right. Okay. So I typically, I don't do the documents or doc or whatever. I don't do that. Uh, postables yeah. or something. I just message yeah. the person because then I can be more personable. So I yeah. message, let's say Heidi. So Heidi, I'll say, thank you so much for your purchase. I'm going to, you know, keep on collecting. I got your bin started you know, when on Tuesday, I'll need your email. I said, Oh, by the way, I would love to spoil you. I said, let I, I assume. And I say, let me know a weekend that would work for you. And I'll get it on my calendar. And I, I say, I have my book right here. I said, Oh, and you know what? You're going to be looking real good because she gets another piece because you're hosting. So thanks for being that awesome friend. Let me know what yeah. weekend works for you. Awesome. I don't even give an option. Would you like to host or not? The worst yeah. case scenario, they come back and tell me no. Right. Maybe next time, you know, or yeah. do you know someone who would? You know what? My daughter would love to do. Perfect. What's her name? Let me know. Can you join yeah. her in the message? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's um, how I spoil and get something. I assume they want free stuff. Right. So you kind of answered, what do you do to those who say no? You know, you say maybe not now, maybe another time. Or do you know somebody who, you know, would want to uh, right. be spoiled and earn some free jewelry? Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to those who have done hostess parties and it wasn't successful and now they want to give up? Like, Okay, so I did have a hostess party that I was almost like devastated. Oh. I had been hosting, 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 hosting. I mean, I was like, you know, you were so excited. Every weekend's a success. If you get to me, success is getting two or three people in my shopping group, yes. not purchase pieces. Yes. I am Amen. not worried. <laughs> They'll buy. Yeah. Okay. You right. know, let me look at our stuff. This is amazing. Right. It's yes. Amazing. So I am not worried if they buy it. As long as I can get them over there, I will hook line and sinker some other diamond ring for them. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is. So that is success. It might not be sales. Okay. It's right. growing your business, growing yes. your shopping group. That is a success to me. I had 36 people in this group. No one did anything. Mm. And it was a hostess that was a customer of mine. Very yeah. seldomly come and go. But what I learned is she ended up going out of town. If you mm. have a hostess that is not very engaged. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. I mean, you need to promote to them. It's not just, you're not just working to give them free stuff. They're earning their yeah. free pieces. So if that customer didn't want to get seven or eight pieces, that's 36 people. I, yeah. Maybe one person, maybe if I can remember, I mean, I'm just kind of throwing, but there was 36 people and not one person bought wow. anything like not even an order online because they don't have time. Right. So, right. but then I said, you know what? It's okay. I made these posts and I am better at it as a customer, like yes. with my customers, maybe the wording, maybe I, oh, maybe they don't like just the stock pictures. Maybe I need to put it on my hand and take a picture. Maybe, you know, maybe the timing wasn't really right. Or I learned something. Don't have a hostess be out of town. Yes. Don't host yes. on a holiday weekend. Make up right. your own and you be the hostess. And then give yes. free pieces for whoever's joining or playing the game that weekend. So yes. I learned, which made me a better consultant. Even though my sales weren't there, I grew as mm. a consultant. And it's not yes. always about the money, the, you know, yes. the pieces, because now they know who I am. 
36 people know who the Poe compound, <laughs> who she is. And when, yes. they, when they need that piece for that wedding dress, they'll find me. They're going to remember. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you share, we just shared one of your least successful parties and what you learned from it. Perfect. So we already did number six, but the opposite was also, can you share one of your best parties just to give somebody another example of an amazing successful party that to you is, it, it may not have been sales. It might've been, I got 10 new people to join my group at this party and only two of them purchased, but that was successful. What's one example of one of your more successful parties? I think one of my most was, um, it might not have been sales and they all purchased, but it was actually a smaller group. I want to say like 12, 12, between 12 and 15 people maybe, but I booked like seven parties. Wow. It was six or seven. They all wanted to help their friend because I kept on, you know, yeah. who wants to be next? Somebody drop below. Who's going to get her? A, she's almost yes. to her next piece. Oh my gosh. So-and-so gets another, you know. And I think it was like six or seven people, but it was a smaller party. Yeah. Almost everybody wanted to That's help amazing. that host. And I made that, you know, and oh my gosh, she's a VIP gem. I'd love for her to, you know, I call all my people gems at the compound because yeah. I'm a diamond. That's what I say, you know? So they're all <laughs> gems at the compound. Yeah. So I wanted to spoil that hostess and, you know, who else? Come on, who's going to help your BFF? I, oh my gosh, your sister who is, you know, whoever it was and everybody, a cousin, an aunt, a sister, another sister. It was like in a friend and a BFF at work or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then That's I, awesome. your book is your Bible. Yeah. Right. I've never, I've never heard of a hostess party where somebody got six or seven yeah. hostesses, but yeah. that, it was like crazy. that's an awesome testimony. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> um, there you go. Have you ever had a new customer from a hostess party sign up to be a hostess? Yes, you have. Yes. What about um, a customer? I think you said this, you know, that's how you joined, but have you ever had a customer or a hostess join your team because you maybe found them through a hostess party or they were in a hostess party and then they joined? Has that well, version of I, success? I, I did have, um, you know, a customer that I had when I hosted the party. Uh, this was a good friend of mine. Also, I invited her to come. Well, then once I decided to start and she saw what I was kind of doing, she kind of has a jewelry fetish too. And <laughs> I was like, girl, you can just be on my team. I'm yeah, like, even you if know, you just want to shop for two seventy five dollars a piece. Right? I mean, what? To it's a pack wow. <laughs> like, guys, it is serious. It is yeah. I mean, think about it. Five dollars. Five. And I get it for two seventy five. <laughs> yeah. That is like a win win, no brainer. So she was like, Oh, really? And I'm like, the smallest yeah. package just she wasn't gonna do it to do it, right? It was just right. for her shopping. And it was yeah. ninety nine dollars. Like it's like one ten or something like that with taxes. I'm like yeah. the smallest Oh my gosh! And you got like a hundred and eighty dollars worth of jewelry in that. hundred. It was like hundred and seventy-eight dollars or whatever it is worth yeah. of stuff. You get your. Yeah. This is like thirty dollars for this. I mean, this count. I mean, book. Yeah. Okay, I love my planner. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I am like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to order a new one for next year. <laughs> but right. I love it. I mean, it is my Bible for sure. Oh, I love that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, it is my paparazzi Bible. It has everything in it. My hostesses my notes my no i mean i'm already scheduled out i can just go to the page and write down that date give them dates and you know so yes right. she ended up joining my team and she is currently on my team and she was originally like in my party that you know that we had joined to begin with so it does happen but does any have i ever had someone oh do you want to join my team from like a recent hostess party no not yet is the key word. Not yet. Okay. It's coming though, which kind of leads me um, to our last question. And then I want to invite any viewers and I don't want to forget to do this. And my mom just called and I'm scared. I'm going to get disconnected from this live, but um, I want to invite any viewers who are watching. Cause I do plan to share this to the YouTube channel. Like I said, it's one of my number one most requested um, uh, trainings that people want to know more about. If anybody is viewing this and they're like, you know, I want an upline who is active. I'm planning to do a live sale tomorrow night, but I, I wouldn't consider myself very active anymore. I'm only doing a live sale once every few months now. 
I have a couple locals who come over and shop, but I am not working this business full time. If somebody is watching this and they're like, I want to learn how to do hostess parties every single weekend. I want to watch somebody who is doing live sales every week and learn from them. I just want to support Stacy. I'm already a consultant, but I see her passion and I want to, you know, support her as a fellow Papa sister. She gets the hottest bling every single day. I forgot to point this out. I think these are actually Z earrings I pulled for this, but I got this from Stacy. I could not purchase this. Um, I'm not on every day. I'm not shopping every day, but she is. So if you want the hottest pieces, you want to support um, Stacy Poe, check out the Poe Compound on Facebook and you can learn from her trainings. You want to join her team. She is a on fire leader that if anybody, you know, messaged me and they were like, you know, Mermaid Christine, I know you're not doing this full time, but you know, I really like your trainings. Is there another consultant who is maybe going to be doing EMP? who is, um, you know, ordering the newest, hottest trends and doing trainings for her team and challenges. Like I try to throw together a challenge a month for my team. Um, if you want someone more active and I've had people come to me and say that, and I usually refer them to my uplines, you know, Brandy, Jennifer, Crystal, um, I should be supporting my downlines as well. You work this business full time. Hey, I love your passion and your energy. So I just want to encourage anybody, check her out, support her, consider joining her team. If you're just a customer who's interested in maybe trying this whole paparazzi business out. And then we will lead with that into our last question. How has paparazzi changed your life? You mentioned being able to buy shirts or whatever, but even your plans for the future, how has paparazzi kind of changed uh, your perspective on maybe everything? Well, I will say in the beginning, um, when I approached my husband for this. So this is like a big thing. You have to have that support your yes. backbone. So when I originally started, he looked at me and was like, really like $5 jewelry. Like, yeah, wh what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I love it. So it's $5 and I can buy all my stuff for our date night at two seventy five. Yeah. you know, like right. this would cost like $20,000, you know, right? know if it was real <laughs> gemstones. ring. I mean, what? this is life of the party. Oh my gosh. This is October's. It is gorgeous. Right? So, yes. so I was like, you know, I'm doing this. This is what I want to do now. What are we like? What? Almost a year. Cause I'll be a year next month. Yeah. He's like, so how'd you do? So how, 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 how much did you do on your lives? Like now it's like, it is actually my income. Like it is my, I've paid off my car. So yeah. I bought a new car. It was paid for. Um, so all of my, I've been putting And away shout out things. because I don't think we said this in the beginning of the introduction in under a year, you have um, earned silver life of the party. Yes. <laughs> That's an amazing accomplishment. That's 5,000 pieces of bling that you have either sold off your website online in person and also you know given away and now um you know we receive and people don't always understand this as customers we receive free jewelry with every order we place i love to remind people of that so out of five thousand pieces you got is it one piece for every 10 pieces right. 500 free pieces yeah oh, and you can sell that you don't have to give it all away so then now so, silver is ten thousand so bronze was five, silver was 10,000. 10,000 PV. Yeah, so five. And we got two pieces. PV per piece. Right, so then when I started, I hit it right before the end of the year. And our year is till June the 30th. That's right, so you so only had six months. Six months to get right. Six months to what everybody else had, okay? Because I didn't yes. start till January really working uh, kind right. of alive. I didn't even know what I was doing, but. I did it and hosted a party because I had pieces I had to get rid of. But then from July 1 to today, I'm this close, like hundreds, hundreds, like three, four, four whatever, of being silver in yes. four months. In just a very like, short window. Right. So you're probably, I would guess, I think your goal is at least diamond this year. Well, I was hoping. Platinum or diamond, one of the two. Okay. So, well, I, platinum, hope to be gold even by gold, the end of the I will say for me, my goal, you know, when I first started was I at least want gold because then you get double hostess rewards. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs>
that and there are days um i don't know if it's two days a year or just one day a year but I, it's definitely been a few days since i joined where paparazzi offers double hostess rewards for everyone every consultant but if you are already earning double you get four i know <laughs> Those days, I like cleared out my bank account. I am like, I am stocking up right. on these free hostess rewards. Yeah. So, you know, back to the question. It's just. Safe. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it has made me um, now it's a little more respectable here, you know, at my house yes. because I actually gave up some of my fitness classes to then work this full time. My kids, mm. I have very involved with my children. They hang stuff up on my boards. This is a family opportunity. You Not bring jewelry to their like sporting events. Uh, I mean, like I, this is. They all know I wear it. I pass out cards left and right. I leave them at the table when I get a drink at the bar. I order food and I thank the server and leave my card. You know, yep. it's just a free promotion. If somebody else picks it up, they might throw it in the back room. That's fine. Someone will take it. I'm not worried about it. It's that yeah. one time of trying to grow. So the boys it's a very family thing that i make it and i work when i want to work yeah if i want something i work harder i work hard and play even harder so yeah. if you, you want to be your own boss if you want to make your own paycheck then have the hostess parties it is there it might not yeah. be instant gratification for that party to make 300 dollars, but i'm telling you I'm telling you, when the payday comes a couple months later, and then they're now ordering and seeing all these pieces, yes. they're going to go back. I mean, sometimes I show a piece 10 times, and I know this person has seen it, and they buy it. Because now yeah, they and it, it baffles your mind. They have that shirt But maybe they needed it for a certain next. outfit or something. Yes. I mean, it's just, so keep re-showing. Keep yes. re-showing. I have had this year some terrible times with my inventory and i which is a good problem i kind of sold it all and i had nothing to show on the lives yeah. i was showing hostess i would repeat i had nothing new for like two weeks nothing i yeah. showed and still sold pieces everything yeah. is new please and that's it. one of the Order i think my most website. powerful tools that we don't always take advantage of is we do still have this website that we can promote what every I single I day and i know you did that all a week long and yeah. then i did you know when you you can't you want to keep on your pvs you want to keep ordering but you're like oh i'm not making the income well then yeah. i did hey guys screenshot me anything that's on the website i'll make a big order tonight by midnight yes. or 10 o'clock so then it was all pre-claimed i ordered like i don't even know like it was probably 60 something pieces yeah my customers yeah, I went ahead and did it and put it on my card and it was I love it. that because then when that box comes I you don't exactly have to worry about trying to sell it. Yeah, but you earned all those hostess yeah. rewards on that. Yes, so that's awesome. a good way to bulk up well, on something like that if you guys are like needing but keep on the three o'clock drops. I mean be make sure your inventory is there when you're hosting all these parties. So I was doing so much. You know, after talking to you know mermaid Christine. I'm like, I have nothing. She's like, well, then you need to order more. If you're hosting every weekend, yeah. you need to have the higher volume, more variety. Like you're not ordering enough. Like your customer's demand was here and here was your ordering. Yes. Like you needed to bump it up so that you I had that so extra for when shipping is delayed or for hostess yeah. parties. And I even told you, I'm like, don't show them your hostess rewards. Like hide those I have a big for bin upcoming now. hostess parties. Yes. Yes. And that's what I've been yes. doing. I just literally take it and throw it in the box. I have a huge box. So when I need something, I'll just go and dig out whatever it is. Yeah. Or I only have one box came and I'm doing up. It's my Monday. Oh, I have no problem because I have been saving and not selling. You know what right. I mean? Saving so those Stacey, rewards. We got to wrap this up because okay. I got school stuff to do with the kids. Yes. But I have to show you something. I already told you I'm shipping you a thank you box with some bling for you. <laughs> This whole box is uh, coming your way to the compound, I'm but so as an extra thank you, I know you've won a Z bracelet from me in the past, but I don't remember if you got either of these yet. Have you got the bangles I the or the stretchy the one? Metal. I had the gun metal, the Tina. The gun metal with the pearls. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is that bling right? Oh. So this gosh. is a stretchy one. I have one mint 
in package for you. And then this is bangles. <gasps> oh, wow. You're going to earn both of these at some point, I'm sure. But which one do you want first? Because I'm going to add it to your box before I ship it. Do well, you I want love the stretchy. The bangles oh, I, I love them both, or so. the stretchy one? The stretchy is fine. I love them both. Stretchy. Okay. I almost wore my stretchy today. I have my life the party. Necklace, and I'm like, I think this is a little too, like, um, like regal. Like, I feel like I'm ready Never. to Never. Look, uh, Look at the oil spill. Look at these. But, uh, Never too you're regal. Gonna love Look at this. this. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Stacey, for going over this. For those who are watching in the pod, I think we had some people saying that they couldn't see. I don't know if it was on my end or their end. We'll go over any comments afterwards. Feel free if you're watching us. I know it's in the middle of the work day. If you're at work and you want to um, ask any questions for Stacey in the comments, we, you know, she will answer them or I will tag her. I'll answer if you have any questions for me. And then same with um, YouTube. I plan to tag your um, website in case anybody wants to join your team sure. or shop on your page. I've had consultants log out of their paparazzi account, <laughs> sign up as a customer under me and shop for me just to thank me for a, a video that I posted on YouTube. That's that they awesome. Just wanted to show a little gratitude. So um, I want to put your website there in case anyone wants to shop from you. And then also list your Facebook page in case people want to watch your lives. Um, maybe somebody's watching and they're like, Hey, I shop from a consultant, maybe like Mermaid Christine, who isn't asking for hostess parties. I would love to be a hostess for you, Stacey. I would love to be spoiled with some free jewelry. Reach out to her. I'm going to give you her contact information. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I will let Stacey know, hey, Stacey, people are asking some Absolutely. questions um, and then I'll share those answers. But also, Stacey, I have a challenge for you. You want to earn the other one? Bring I want on. you to launch a YouTube channel. I want you to start posting some teaser trailers, you know, of jewelry for your customers, maybe um, to engage other customers who don't know about you yet. They might find you on YouTube and maybe even to offer some trainings. You know, you're doing things. Facebook's always changing. Algorithms are changing. Um, the way that we are maybe running in-home parties changes because of, you know, the pandemic and stuff. If you have an idea about something and you're like, this was really successful and you want to share it on YouTube, I am encouraging you to launch your YouTube channel and anyone watching this, start searching uh, for Stacey Poe, uh, hit her up on Facebook and be like, can you please start your YouTube channel now? Because I think that you have a lot to offer and I know that it will not only bless others, but bless you as well. Oh, I appreciate that. And I will answer any questions. You guys can send me messages, PM me, you know, my cell phone, I don't mind. Um, you're you know, so sweet. I love you, Stacy. I mean, you're only as good as your other stars. So to be a star, you need to make them. So I will yes. help anybody successfully, you know, with their business. Maybe my tips will help you or get you to the next, you know, recipient, your silver or gold. Um, yeah. You can always I be better. That. You can always be better because your paycheck yes. can always be bigger. And I'm not going to post your address out there for the world, but just because sometimes I do I've had three people shop with me locally because um, they found out I'm in Jupiter, Florida. One of them was like from another state. She was driving for a wedding in Jupiter and I ended up crashing the wedding and meeting her that way. That's awesome. So just a general idea, where are you again? You're I'm in, in Loveland, Ohio. Loveland, so like Ohio. Okay, so if anyone's watching and they're like, and I've, I've lost team members who said, Christine, I wanna join someone locally. I'm in Alabama. I wanna join an upline who lives near me. Love, love land or love. Yeah, that's Loveland. So Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. That's like my. If anybody wants a local um, upline, Stacy, if you're near her, she might be your perfect um, match. Awesome. So just wanted to throw that out there, or to shop locally as well. Some people like to touch, you know, yep. and feel it and see it in person before they buy it. So just want to cover all of our bases and make sure that you know I'm supporting you the best way I can, so that maybe yes. others will as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Sorry, it took a few times to reschedule. I am but... honored. I am so humbly honored. It has been amazing. I told my entire VIP shopping group what I got to do today at 11 o'clock with Mermaid Christine. So I am ecstatic today. All right. Well, your challenge is now to start your own YouTube channel. And um, I'm here for you with any questions on how to do that. Um, maybe eventually it can also get monetized if everyone starts click, 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 subscribe and like my channel. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
All right. Have a beautiful day. God bless. And I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. I Bye send guys. you, Stacey, mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. See you later. Bye, everybody.